So how do you color grade night footage in Premiere Pro, essentially turning this into this? Let's roll. Welcome back everybody, my name's Steven, and today we are talking about color grading night footage that was shot in a log profile or flat color profile, depending upon the camera and body style that you're using. So this footage right here was shot on my Lumix S5 in Santa Monica on a recent trip. And I had some people ask me, how did you color grade this footage when it was shot in a log profile, especially at night, to maintain that dynamic range to avoid the noise, but get the colors and the results that you want. So let's hop right into Premiere Pro and get right to it on how I grade my night footage. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro. Let's hit that two minutes on the clock and let's go. So essentially what we have here is my log footage that I shot here of the Santa Monica Pacific Park Ferris wheel in California. This is what it looks like in log profile. And with the color grade turned on, this is what it looks like with the color grade turned on. So we have now captured the color and the vibrancy of what that dynamic range was getting when it was shot in a log or flat profile. So how do we do this? Let's find out. So starting off the bat, always make an adjustment layer. By doing that, all you have to do is go down here to the new item area, hit the new item icon, select adjustment layer. You're gonna say, okay. And from there, it's gonna create adjustment layer that you can then put onto your footage on the sequence. So I drag it on the sequence by dropping it on top of my footage. And essentially this is where I do all my grading from. I don't grade the actual clip, I grade the adjustment layer. So to start, I always go to the basic correction tab. Now from the basic correction tab, this is where I do a bit of a cheat to make it quick, but this is what I'm doing here as a quick video. Go to the input LUT and go down here to the basic Amira default log 2 Rec 709 profile. So this is a built-in Rec 709 profile within Premiere. I like this profile. It gives a good option for coloring quickly on that flat profile. So selecting that off the bat gives you a great basis on which to start. So you can tell us maintain the colors that were shot in that log profile. Now to do some fine adjustments, I like to make sure that I bring down contrast. Now contrast often in log profile is boosted up. So let's bring it down a bit by also uh, just bringing that slider down to about 30, negative 34. From here, I like to go to the highlights section and just bring up highlights ever so slightly. Shadows, be careful here. You can definitely recover some of the information that's lost in shadow, but just be aware that you don't want to introduce noise into your video. From there, I will bring up the whites just to capture a bit of vibrancy of the, uh, the white uh, area of the Ferris wheel here. And then the blacks, I'm also going to bring up just, just a touch because we don't want to lose too much in the shadows here so we can bring out the color. Temperature wise, I think this is shot pretty well for white balance, but let's just bring it up a little bit there. That's, that's good. So that's my basic starting point for the basic grade. So next up, let's go into the creative section. The creative tab here is where we can further add LUTs or elements to the video grade. So right here, we're gonna go into the look and this drop down option gives us all these lovely built-in LUTs that come with Adobe Premiere Pro. I like to start with something that's gonna give a nice kind of overall look to the video. So I skim through here on the arrows that go back and forth to give a quick preview of what that LUT's gonna look like. Personally, I love the Fuji LUTs that are built into Premiere Pro. Uh, they give a nice basis point of getting that cinematic look to your footage. So let's start with the uh, 250 Fuji Eterna D. So it gives a bit of a warmer look here, a bit more yellow into our image. And I'm just gonna bring down the intensity. So this basically brings down the intensity of that creative LUT to maintain what we had before, but it adds that extra level of spice and flavor. On here, I like to bring up my fade of film to capture a bit more of the white here in the image. And let's bring up the vibrancy as well. So it just brings up the vibrance of the color. And before you know it, there is our completed color grade of a nighttime footage. So before and then after. So that was a very quick grade that took about roughly two minutes. But as you can see, with the tools that are built into Premiere, you have the option of being able to really get that dynamic look to your shot without having to build too much in terms of LUTs and go into curves and, and spend a lot of time in the color grade. Now, don't get me wrong, that's how you should grade video footage, but when it comes to a quick grade, it's nice to get quick results right off the bat. So if you found this video helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button below and drop me a comment on how you grade your footage and what program do you use? Do you use DaVinci? Do you use Final Cut? Do you use Premiere? I'd like to know, leave a comment. And until next time, I will catch you later on the next two minute-ish tutorial. Ciao.